G'day, GT here. Last time I showed you good guys and girls this uh, crummy old Commodore that I pulled out of a paddock in Armadale in northern New South Wales. I bought it off a mate. I knew it was a bit of a roughie when I bought it. Um, that was a week ago. For the last week of evenings, I've been out in my shed pulling things apart, doing a bit of assessment and figuring out what I need to do to get this old girl back on the road in the shortest amount of time and for the least amount of money. All right, with the interior out of the car, I can actually uh, make a pretty good assessment of what I need to do to fix it. I've actually taken all the sound deadening off this uh, off this floor pan. The pass, the, sorry, the driver side's pretty good. The passenger side is quite rusty. We've got a bit of rust here through into the sill and the front passenger footwell. Um, we've got a bent floor pan and rust in the floor here in the rear passenger footwell. And uh, even more of a worry is we've got rust underneath the back seat area. Um, obviously this is all going to have to be fixed. Um, it's going to be a big job, but it won't be a difficult job. Look at this. Look at that. The car's like it's, it's, it's like a snake shedding its skin or something. Yeah, look, boot floor. There is rust, unfortunately, in the boot floor of this car. There's holes. So I'm going to have to buy an aftermarket patch repair or get a cut from another car. Thankfully, this car doesn't have rust under the front and rear windscreens, which is a common Commodore rust spot. Um, spare tire wheel is well, a bit stuffed. But yeah, follow me. Careful of that. <laughs> no rust under the battery tray. Winning. Which of course brings us to the engine. Holden's 4.2 litre V8, backed by a four speed manual, which is the, the drive line combination. That's why I saved this car. Um, radiator is missing, there's bits missing everywhere. All I've done so far is uh, give the engine bay a bit of a hose out. 385,000 Ks on this old girl. Um, I had a quick look under the rocker covers and it looks reasonably clean, but I haven't yet tried to turn it over by hand. But fingers crossed that there's no internal damage. All right, without a carburetor, this engine's not going to run, but I don't yet know if it's even going to turn over. So what I did during the week was, I removed all the spark plugs and I squirted inox into each cylinder to hopefully um, free things up a little bit. So my next step is actually to see if it turns over by hand. If it does that, it means I can probably get the engine running in the car without pulling it out and rebuilding it. Fingers crossed. Oh, this is a big moment. Um, yeah, 20 years. I don't know if this is going to turn over. Obviously, I need to know that it's not seized or locked up or anything. So I'm actually a bit nervous right now. Sock it on the front of the crank. Hopefully there's no grittiness. Hopefully there's no horrible noises or but you need to turn the engine over a couple of complete, oh wow, complete revolutions to make sure that there's no, yeah, no big bad internal issues. But, hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's, uh, wow. That's, that's really good news. Oh, can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> That's actually really good news, I'm, um, I'm stoked. I managed to turn the engine over five or six times by hand using, of course, my socket. Yeah, that, that is a really good indication that there's no internal dramas with this motor. What I'm going to do next is lift the rocker covers off. I'm gonna make sure all the valves are opening, make sure there's no valves that are stuck open. Obviously, I need to fit a carburetor. I'm gonna fit a battery to it, but I'm really looking forward to tipping some fuel in this and kicking it in the guts. I reckon that should say Bombador, so I'm gonna christen this car, Project Bombador. Anyway, I'm GT, I've had a bit of fun this week, I've got a lot more work to do, I'll see you next time. You know what the dash protector's for? Huh? It's to protect the dash. Oh really? <laughs> That's great.